So. No, you're fine. Um, I'm going to go get my bottle again. I better stop recording. I have a feeling I should be on this side. <laughs> I'm going to go over here. All right. Sorry. Do you want me to come over here for everybody to see? Yes. And, all right. So when I think about shoulder range of motion, when I think about moving my arm around, I have to think about two different things. I have to think about scapular motion separate from shoulder. Okay. So when I start asking you what motions are at the scapula, I'm not thinking internal and external rotation and abduction and flexion. I'm thinking scapular, what? Elevation. Elevation. Scapular. Depression. Depression. Scapular. Retraction. Or? Protraction. Retraction or abduction. Okay. Hi. That's for me. I'm not doing anything for you guys. Oh, great. You know, the person that's doing the stuff for you is over on the other side, though. Yeah, these are my college kids. You can leave me some water. flattering that she thought we were high school. So, moving, moving that scapula this way is protraction, retraction. Some people call it ab and, or ad and abduction, elevation, depression. Okay. I can also rotate my scapula. Okay. So in your book, where's my little chicker? It talks about, so first thing I do, and you're going to want, if you've got access to shoulder, I would really like to see people getting access to shoulders for this, is feel where that shoulder blade is because depending on the position this arm is in, it's going to change where that shoulder blade is. So I have to feel and find his shoulder blade. Would you have expected the pointy part of his shoulder blade to be way over here? Okay, so if you don't feel around in there a little bit, you're not going to know where that shoulder blade is and you're not going to get it. So what's this called? Anybody know? That's the inferior angle of his scapula. So I'm going to actually get my hand on that or find that shoulder blade. So I actually have my hand on the shoulder blade and I can do what? Protraction, retraction. Protraction. So, or abduction and abduction. So there's abduction, adduction. Or I can call it retraction and protraction. Okay. I can get my hand up underneath that inferior angle and elevate and depress. I'm pushing down. I'm elevating with this hand. I'm depressing with this hand. I can elevate and depress. That's the range of motion. So I'm ranging my scapulothoracic joint. That's the scapulothoracic junction or the scapulothoracic. Are you on the top of the scapula? I'm grabbing here, and I'm elevating and depressing, elevating and depressing. What you call that scapula thoracic? Okay. Adducting. Call that scapula thoracic what? Junction. Junction. I, don't know. I just made that up. Oh, What's it saying joint. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> she made it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's it say? It says the joint is. I didn't ever get mad at you. Scapular elevation. It says articulation. Scapular thoracic. It just says scapular thoracic junction. Petticoat. Junction. Hey, you aging yourself, right? Yeah. All right. So I can elevate, I can depress. Yeah. Elevate, depress. Protract, retract, mm -hmm. retract, sorry, protract. You're going to have it and it's, I'm going to be saying it wrong while I'm actually doing it. So that's retraction, retraction protraction. protraction. All right. That one that they talk about, that vertebral border lift, in the, in the book it says it's, it's will go easiest if you can put their hand like this. Does your arm go like that? Oh, not very well. So I'm going to let him be here so I can try to feel the edge of that border, and 
I'm actually protracting and retracting his, yeah, you know, he's so muscular, I'm going to have a hard time getting that under I'll find one of you guys that goes a little bit easier to stop everybody. Because he's got, you know, you're trying to reach through um, traps and rhomboids. Mm -hmm. and I'm starting to get up under there, but you're not going to be able to see through his. I'm up under that border exactly there. What is that doing other than getting under there? It's <laughs> helping. Some people are going to have limitations. And but what do you do with like what are you gonna do once you get under there? Once I get it? under there, I'm gonna lift it and I'm gonna try to separate those muscles. I'm gonna try to get that shoulder blade away from his ribs. So you're lifting it. Uh -huh. So think about when he brings his arm up. Does his shoulder blade stay in this exact position as his arm goes up? No. Okay, it's gonna right. rotate with it. And you'll, you'll learn a lot about this in Kines. Okay. But you roughly have, uh, uh, for every two degrees, this arm goes up, you're going to get one degree of scapular rotation. So if I've got my hand on his scapula and I start lifting it, you're going to see my hand starting to rotate mm -hmm. up. So now his, his, he's all the way over here now. Okay? So to have proper shoulder flexion and abduction, my scapula has to be mobile. And if it gets stuck down to my ribs, then I'm going to go, uh, and my arm's not going to go, and it's not going to be completely my shoulder capsule's fault. Half of it's going to be um, my scapula's fault. It's called scapulohumeral rhythm. Okay, I have to have, I have to have scapular rotation with my arm uh, abduct. He has to rotate with me. So a lot of times if I get a really weak back muscle here and I get someone who's a little bit tied up here, you're going to see that stick and then that whole sh <coughs> the, the, the scapula starts rotating immediately with the humerus and they only get partial range because that's so a lot of times my shoulder range of motion problems are really because my scapula is tight and my muscles back here, my rhomboids and stuff that are supposed to be stabilizing that scapula aren't doing their job and they, it just goes. I do that long enough and these muscles are going to shorten and these muscles are going to lengthen and now I've got a dysfunctional shoulder and to the, to the layman it looks like it's because there's something wrong with my shoulder and it may be because there's something wrong with my scapula thoracic movements. Junction. Junction. <laughs> now. Okay, so with your partners, try to do scapular elevation, scapular depression, scapular retraction, scapular protraction. Try to get up under there. Put their hand down in the middle of their back and see if you can get them to relax and get your hand up under there. Scapula. If I find somebody that's real easy, I'll call everybody over and we'll look at it. That's going to be me. So if I you have on like something accessible, that would be very good to be accessible. You can continue to 